are the most important skill, uh, along with passing. I reckon trapping and passing is pretty much 90% of what I do in a game, 90% of what most people do in the game. Yeah, so the first thing I think about when trying to trap the ball would be, can I get it on my forehand? So that would be getting my feet around the ball so I can try and trap it inside my feet. Everything in your body space is a lot easier to control than trying to trap it miles outside or on your reverse stick. Another really key basic thing to think about is how far you get your right hand down the stick. So if your, your hand's quite at the top of the stick, uh, the ball will, is a long way from your hands, so it's in less control. So if you get your right hand down the stick, you'll uh, be more in control. And I quite often try and get my stick more vertical so that I have a, more, a better line on it. If it's like more horizontal, you don't know if it's going to bounce over or underneath, but you're quite sure on the line. So that's why I try and get my stick more vertical because I'm more sure about the line than I am about how high it is or whether it's bobbling off the floor. If it's along the floor, you can be a bit more flexible, start thinking about other things. So whether you can put the ball into a good position to then pass. But when the ball's bobbling, uh, the main thing I think of is just trapping the ball, then I'll move on to the next action. Be cautious about trapping it upright because it's not a very strong position to be in. It's not like the forehand where it's very natural. Down the reverse side, it's, it's very unnatural to uh, trap the ball like that. So I quite often, pretty much every time it's along the floor, I'd always go down and trap it low because you have more of a chance of trapping it. Uh, when it's bobbling and down your reverse side, that's just a really tricky situation to be in. So the main thing I say about aerials is, is its practice. Uh, you're not going to be able to suddenly be able to trap all the aerials in the world, but it just is practice and getting yourself in uncomfortable positions, so not always receiving a ball that's straight to you, maybe having one that's on the run, because in a game, they're not going to throw an aerial straight to you. They might, uh, they're quite often going to try and chuck it into a space that you're going to be running into. So the main thing is, practice, but practice some uncomfortable ones. I'd say it's just where you put your right hand. It's almost like catching a ball. So if, you, if your right hand is quite low towards the end of the stick, you're almost able to catch the ball because your hand is closer to where the ball will be. If your hand's at the end of the stick, you're not going to be able to know where the stick is and you, it's just out of control. The key thing is getting your right hand uh, far, further down the stick so you're able to catch it. So you'll quite often see some of the uh, more elite players, they'll trap the ball and they'll try and stop the ball on the floor straight away so that they can then pass. What you don't want is you don't want to receive the aerial and then have it bouncing all around because that's out of control.